you, Brandon. I mean, it's December. You guys started this journey a long, long time ago. So what does it mean just to be playing football at this late in the year? Oh, I mean, it's it's amazing. This is everything. Even playing through Thanksgiving, we had a team Thanksgiving here, and uh, all the guys brought in food that we cooked, and we kind of did as a team and sat by the fire. And even that was amazing. But playing through December and playing on December 2nd and now playing on December 8th, it's, it's awesome. It's just more memories and more time with the guys. Yeah, after that Wake Forest game, you know, that was the last time you guys lost. It was September. You know, what changed? What has led to this just rapid growth of Clemson United the past couple months? I wouldn't say anything necessarily changed. Um, you know, it's early on. It's a new team. It's a new season. And we just had to stick with it. We just had to stay to the process and understand what was going to happen and, and never waver. And we didn't do that. And uh, that's perfect of why we are where we are. Um, we're, we're lucky enough to have had a good culture, and, and that's where we're what's gotten us where we are. The College Cup two years ago, you guys took it all the way home. Now you're back again for your senior season. Just what does it mean to you to just take another trip to the Final Four? It means a lot. Um, it's pretty cool to, to be able to say that I've been twice. Um, you know, obviously I'm honored. A bunch of us are honored because we've, we've done it together. And, you know, it's, it's something to be said for for this program. Um, you know, we say excellence is, is what we're pursuing every day. And I think being to the College Cup is, is proving that. And what are you most excited for for this trip to Louisville? Um, ooh, that's a good one. Honestly, like you said at the beginning, I mean, it's December. It's, it's more memories with the guys. Every game we can play together, every, every trip, every team meal, everything we can do together at this point is, is a blessing. So. Can you look at Uzma? Um, he's a guy who had about 17 points as a sophomore and junior. He's got 34 this year. Like, why is he so, so, more, so much more to talk to, do you think, for you guys this year? Um... I mean, he's always been productive. Maybe he didn't have the points per se, but he's always he's always been one of those guys who's who's integral. He's in the mix. He's everywhere. He's he's doing everything he can to to help us get where we need to be. And he's confident. He, he's playing well. He knows it, and he's ready. I think talking to your coach earlier, you were saying you know he draws so much attention and then distributes to other people. Like how good is he at just finding other people? What would you say? He's, he's really good. He's got his head up all the time. He understands pressure. He understands where it's coming from. He, he knows when he's dropping in between layers, when the center backs are coming, and when he can slip people. He's, he's very aware, and he's very clever. And just experience-wise, I mean, having already been to one of these, I mean, how much does that help you guys? Is there any elements of just having already been at this stage that kind of prepares you? For yeah, I, I think it helps us a lot. Um, you know, we have guys who are experienced. We've had, in the last four years, we've been to – two college cups, two ACC championships, and that experience is, is important. Um, we have guys who played in big games. They're not gonna be phased by, oh, like it's a big crowd or, or oh, it's a big moment. Guys have been there. So it's not just our expectation to get there now, it's our expectation to win it. So it's important for us. You talk about who's not being confident. Like how can you tell that on the field? Is it just his personality or is it the way he plays? Or not, it's just the way he plays. He's got a, a silent confidence about him. You know when he's, when he's switched on and when he's ready to go. And, all year, he's been ready to go. Uh, just, what's one of the more underrated aspects you think this team, uh, this team has? Uh, I think underrated-wise, our back line. Yeah, you have Pop Marboy, who's kind of been the standout and stuff like that, but Gael and, and Lundy have both been solid, and they don't get enough credit because without that back line, if we're giving up you know, a goal or two goals a game, it doesn't matter how many we score, really. So, I mean, those two guys have been integral in they don't get enough credit, but they're definitely the unsung heroes of what we do. What's the message in the locker room like as you get prepared to head off? To the I don't think much needs to be said. Um, in, in all honesty, it's it's a player's game, and the coaches kind of hand us that, that responsibility and understand that at the end of the day, it comes down to us, and everyone in that locker room knows it. So you don't have to say much. It's just a matter of making sure everybody's locked in on the same page and we're ready to go. Well, you guys haven't given up a goal, a goal postseason. Coaches are saying there have been a couple of slips. I mean, does that kind of almost help in terms of helping you guys bear down, lock down? What kind of what you do defensively? Yeah, I mean, we get in the film room after every game, and it doesn't matter whether you give up the goal or not. If, if it's an opportunity and it's clear, we know and we take pride in that. So whether it's on the score sheet or not, we take those opportunities to, to get better and to learn from them and, and see how we can continue to improve. Anyone else? Yeah, I got one more. Just a message. If you have a message to just – Clemson, the whole Clemson fan base, the university, just about this season. Uh, anything for them? You got it. <laughs> Unreal. Um, you know, coming in on my official visit and my visits and stuff when I was in high school to now, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, you guys are a big part of why I came here, 
you're a big part of why I stayed all four years and, and never wavered once and trusted everything that, that Clemson had to offer. And, you know, Stanford having that many people at that game was, was the best send off anyone could ever have. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.